Time to talk winners and losers with our financial expert, Rob Black. And it looks like the bank stocks have rebounded a bit, Rob. And I certainly have already gotten emails from my bank saying, we're good, we're good. We're small, but we're good. <laughs> You got emails from your bank. I got calls from friends and family. What's going to be happening next? And I said, no big deal. The government did the right thing. They protected all depositors. It sets a bad precedent. Banking costs will go higher because we'll pay for that FDIC insurance at higher levels. Mm -hmm. But it stops run on the banks. And run on banks, too easy today. Five clicks and you're out. I, I predict that we'll see this again. Um, so stocks are rebounding. Bank stocks amongst them as well. Some other stories that we should hit, Uber and Lyft. Um, they won a Prop 22 appeal, so they're still allowed to have their employees called independent contractors. That's going to be challenged one more time up to the California Supreme Court. Meta said they're going to fire 11,000 more employees or let go. This time it's more middle-level management trying to make the company faster. It's their year of efficiency. But stock market loves it because labor is the biggest cost of doing business and Meta way overhired. And worthy of note, I don't understand why cryptocurrencies are going higher because they lost Silvergate, they lost Signature Bank, they lost Silicon Valley Bank, all who had crypto exposure. And they've also lost FTX in the last year. So I don't understand how it's going higher. I would be very cautious if I were a crypto mm -hmm. investor. All right. Um, I uh, know a lot of women in particular. We will spend a lot of money investing in shoes. Not right. going to do this Michael Jordan thing. I, some guy is going to do this. Who's going to spend this kind of money? 20 years ago, I remember Manolo Blahnik giving you shoes or loaning you shoes yeah. or something. Um, and I was on set and you were so excited. But Michael Jordan's last dance shoes are amazing. They're going to be selling for 2 to $4 million at auction. This is surreal. They're actually shoes that he gave to the ball boy after the game. Um, this is from the 1998 finals. Uh, 2021, he sold some shoes for $1.4 million. His most expensive jersey sold is 10.1 million. For Sotheby's, this is an amazing category because it's new and it attracts people who they've never seen before into a category that's brand new of uh, sports athletic wear. Um, but 20 to year, 20 year old to 40 year olds are, are jumping in as fast as they can to the auction market. And then they're getting some collectibles that are very rare. And Michael yeah. Jordan is of collectibles. Well, I don't wear a size 18, so, or whatever size he is. Thank are they, you. Are they that big? So I, I'm guessing, I don't know, okay. 16, probably a 16. I'm 14, it, so. Are you? Oh, he's definitely an 18. All right. We'll see you, Rob. Thanks, darling. Um, Good day. You did have room to grow if Rob bought those. Uh, you can email Rob or reach him through Facebook or Twitter if you have any questions.